Today we will be installing a Pro Touring Enclosure on a Club Car DS. These are the tools we'll be using today. These are the parts supplied in the kit. First, we are going to be mounting our C-channels to the sun top. We are going to start by removing the furthest bolt in the back off the sun top and replacing it with a longer bolt and spacer. We are going to tighten the whole assembly by adding a nut. To secure the front of the C-channel, we are going to use a self-tapping screw to connect it to the front upright. To mount our rear C-channels, we are going to first start off by cutting an inch off the appropriate rail to make a better fit on the sun top. After it's cut, we are going to file off any sharp edges left behind from the saw. We will then mark out our center and two end points for drilling. If you do not have a rear bag cover, you will not need to drill out a center hole. Just the two outer holes for mounting. For installing a bag cover, we will be attaching our two C channels back to back with self tapping screws. I recommend clamping or taping them together to make sure there is no wiggle room when drilling. The two most outer holes are going to be used for mounting the assembly to the sun top. To make sure the two C-channels stay locked together, we will be drilling out two more holes on each side closer to the middle. Once this assembly is complete, we will mount it to the sun top. Before we slide on the panels, we are going to remove the windshield off our cart. This windshield is mounted by clamps, so we just have to pull it off. Yours may be different. Next, we will be going to slide the side panels into position. Be sure to use the lower C channel. The one on top is for the balance. The sleeves on the front of the side panels attach to the front uprights of the cart. They attach by wrapping around the square tubing and zipping together with the smaller zipper. For the rear panel, use the inner C-channel. The outer one is for the back cover. At the bottom of the rear panel is a flap that we are going to remove so we can wrap the rear panel around the sweater basket. Once the panel is in position, we are going to reattach the flap. To keep a weather seal, we are going to use the provided Velcro tape along the back of the seat back to attach the lower flap. Next, we will go ahead and remove all the paper covering the windows. Now that it's all zipped up, we are going to reinstall our windshield. steps, we are going to be installing the balances to each side of the car and cinching the panels into place. Once you are done with these steps, you can enjoy your new Pro Touring Enclosure. You have now completed the installation of your Pro Touring Enclosure. If you have purchased the optional club protector, please continue watching. We will now be going over the installation. First, we will be installing the lower bracket. It will be bolted into the existing holes that the sweater basket has. We will be replacing the existing hardware with longer bolts and spacers to accommodate the bracket.
get installed, we will be attaching the frame of the back cover. The long end goes towards the bottom and gets held into place by the frame. Inside the cover are snaps that will wrap around the frame to keep the parts in. Go around the inside and button all the snaps around the frame. Once that is done, we will run the locking pin through the corner grommets of the back cover. And you are now done with the installation of your Pro Touring back cover. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.